So this is my follow-up video to the first movie I posted concerning this problem at Collins Cove. This is my friend TJ getting in there and pulling it out by hand. Mark Collins, TJ, Greg Soika, myself all helped to clear that trash out and get it up to the cliff. Unfortunately, um, we got some, we got covered in it, we got some in our mouths, it was great, but the trash is gone. In the last couple of days, I've been patrolling the area, and basically, um, we've found multiple more hypodermic needles. And what it looks like is they're using pompous grass. They're breaking off the pompous grass and putting it on the rock in order to mark where they've left their little stashes. So if you're walking along the cliffs and you look down at the rocks and you see a piece of pompous grass laying on top of one, uh, you'll know what's underneath there. Here's the officer from the Santa Cruz Police Department who was kind enough to come out and get down in there and, and dispose of this. Who knows um, what could have been on there. Thank you to the Santa Cruz Police Department for for working hard. I can't imagine how tough their job must be. This is an area that we found. We decided to take a little walk a little bit further down. And within two minutes, we were able to find this um, other little honey hole, if that's what you want to call it, of trash and debris, waste, human waste, as well as um, rubber gloves, more rubber gloves. There's cans with the bottoms cut off, and I guess that's for cooking up the heroin before they inject it. So you can see the trash is nowhere near being all the way cleaned up. We barely scratched the surface. And again, we just um, went for a two minute walk and found this just below West Cliff Drive. This is the cans that I'm talking about. Many, many of these can bottoms which have been cut off in order to cook their hard drugs. Not only do they leave them strewn about the cliffs, but they're hazardous uh, with sharp edges as well, the way they cut them. You can see an example there of the many rubber gloves that we find around the area. And if that ring, that band of rubber was to, you know, go around any sort of marine animals or mammals neck, it would not come off. And again, we found thousands of these rubber gloves along with the other material. We took a total of two and a half tons of debris. You can see some nice waves peeling there. Um, took a total of two and a half tons of debris to the dump and left the last half ton up on the top of West Cliff. And that's what the city came and collected. That was so nice of them to do that. Thank you. Now you can see here, I'm looking from far away, but there was a parent and their kid unknowingly exploring the rocks, enjoying the nice day. And then this morning, I happened to be riding my bike towards my house from my business, which is downtown. And I come around the corner, and what do you know, laying right in the street, a couple more needles. I'm really getting tired of um, having to stop what I'm doing and call the police to come and dispose of contaminated hypodermic needles. Thank you.